Three dots in the middle. Oh, it's called an ellipsis. It indicates that there are other words in that sentence that you have omitted. Ellipsis. Okay, that's a good, that's a good, another punctuation mark that we all should know called ellipses. When you are omitting words in a sentence, three dots. When you are omitting sentences or even paragraphs, four dots. It's called an ellipse. So what about that paragraphs? It's four dots if you're talking about sentences. Three. So um, what about that? The that in between brackets? That is when you have a quote, but you want to, for the sake of your blending, right? You want the quote to fit in your sentence, then you're going to add a word and continue the quote. The way you indicate that you have added a word is you put it, and that's brackets, actually. Yeah, yeah okay. You put it in brackets. So the word that was put in, put in brackets so that we can continue the sentence with the quote. So the quote becomes a part of the sentence with the that. So you could put the that in the middle of the quote, and I know that is not in the original text. Okay? So now we're getting really professional here with our quoting and our blending. But if that concept is too difficult for you, then we can revert back to a little easier. <laughs>